has grown. I'm J.B. Ryan, President and Chief Investment Officer at J.B. Ryan Financial Group, a registered investment advisory firm. I started in 1995, and it is the home of Afroeconomics. That's the website behind me. You can live chat. You can do what you need to do to get your financial empowerment on. This Afroeconomics Wednesday night sessions are an opportunity for you to get the financial empowerment that you deserve. You deserve it. And it's absolutely complimentary. You know, the members of Afroeconomics allow this to happen. The clients and members that make Afroeconomics possible. Um, we can't be but anything but thankful to them for their commitment to building wealth in the Black community. And we have our Afroeconomics Award ceremony coming up. December 15th, Saturday. Members, come on out, bring your guests. We're going to acknowledge our members of the year. And I think that is a great opportunity. This is the Sankofa Legacy Award Trophy. And it is for, well, this is not the one, this brand new one in my office that is going to be personalized for our member of the year for 2019. I like to do it going forward. It's based on your accomplishments and commitment in the previous year, but you enjoy it all of the next year because you deserve it because the power is in the process. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's our topic today. The power is in the process. Thank you to everyone who was in the webinar. I appreciate you so much. You're superstars. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. And so let's talk about the power that's in the process, the year in commitment. And, and that's why I'm doing this, because it would be very easy for all of us to just sit back, eat the turkey, slobble down, you know, gobble, gobble some cra gravy and everything. <laughs> so, gravy. That's crazy gravy, right? But no, we're still going forward on our commitment to our financial goals for the year, for each day, for the week, for our family, for our legacy, for, you know, for generations to come. Everything that's accomplished is based on what we do today. So I hope that one thing, two things, hopefully several things that I share tonight will definitely bring some thoughts home for you. So year in commitment to push all the way. The Afroeconomics algorithm, as I like to call it, a strategy is all about trusting that the power is in the process, right? The power is in the process. The algorithm, the 10 principles of Afroeconomics. But let's just talk about power. What's in the word power? And I just broke it down like P, Empower is plan your goals. O, be organized. W, watch and review your investments regularly. E, energize everything. Work, wake up everything. Put energy into every aspect of your life, including your financial life. You add energy to your life, your income will go up. Your business will improve. Your sales will go up. Everything will go up. So it's about the E of power is energizing everything. And then R, get rid of the losers. Get rid of investments that are doing nothing for you. Get rid of investments in every aspect. Get rid of the stock that are doing nothing for you. Get rid of the, the real estate that's doing nothing for you. Get rid of the friends that are doing nothing for you. Get rid of the bad job that's been killing you. Get rid of the bad habits. Have you been doing things? that are pulling you down, that are costing you money, that are not helping you in generating and reaching the goals that you want. We got some hey, the power. The power is in the process. Plan your goals, be organized, watch and review your investments regularly. Talk to me about your investments that you have going on. Here we are at the end of the year. If you've been saying, I want JB to set this up, I want JB to review this, 
401k that I've got going on, look at the TSP, whatever it is that you, that's 403B, it's got to be checked out. This IRA that I got from this five different jobs, we've got to look at it. Let's make sure we look at it. That's what I'm there for you. I'm there for you for that. Energize everything. Wake it all up and get rid of the losers. That's your R. So when you doubt, now we're talking about the power is in the process. The power is in the algorithm. The power is in the patience that we exercise in order to create the financial life, the entire life, because if your life isn't right, then your finances aren't gonna be right and vice versa. So it's, everything's got to be right for us to get our money right. So I can't just skip over, oh, let's just make money and then skip over the fact that there are some things that are pulling you down. So when you doubt your ability to create your dream, then you are creating more doubt. In order to fall in love with the process of wealth development and career building, you got to first get rid of the root of the doubt and only know that you've got to get to the root of it. You've got to get an understanding of why you think it's okay to be broke, why you think it's okay to fake it until you make it. It's not okay. You got to listen to my podcast called Make It. Make it, never fake it. But where did that doubt come from? The power is in the process. And I'm really saying is that the truth the truth, the T-R-U-T-H, is in the process. So when you don't want to go through the process of the principles of Afroeconomics, then generally it means that you just don't want to accept or own your own truth. You don't want to own it. And that's why you avoid it. And that's why you don't want to go through the process. And that's why you don't want anybody to look at it. And just why you don't want to talk to a registered investment advisor about it. You know, you don't want to get in that and do comprehensive financial planning that focuses on you because you don't want to face that truth. And I accept that. But how many years does it have to go on? So let's look at the process. One, I want you to dream big. We try not to dream big because we fear that the thought of failure but you can still fail at whatever it is that you feel safe doing. You could be at a job and it happens every day that you completely hate, or you could have this business that you inherited or this business that you started that you hate, and you still can fail at it even though you think it's because you're making money and it's doing well and it's what you're supposed to do or whatever, but you hate it. No, it's what it is, is that You've decided that this is the safe thing to do, but you can still fail at, at, at choosing the safe option. And it's okay. I need you to realize and accept the power in the process. I need you to know that it's okay to dream big, to have big thoughts. But we got to have that plan. We got to follow this algorithm. We got to get on that legacy plan. We got to do the organization. We got to make a commitment to financial independence. We got to work in integrity. We have to carry ourselves as an enterprise. We have to know that it's going to take determination. I'm going through the principles of Afroeconomics here. We've got to follow that algorithm to make it work for you. Always see the bright side. And this is the power of the process. So key points, dream big and always see the bright side. The bright side of everything, you gotta see that life as full. <laughs> Your cup runneth over. You gotta see it. Always take responsibility for everything. If you've ever said, well, they did da 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 da, you gotta buy into your part of why they did that. How did that happen to you? You were there. It was on your watch. You want to be true enterprise? You want to be a true entrepreneur? You got to take responsibility for it. If somebody tells me, well, I never got a call, you know, I have to make sure that they get that call. Or I ordered the book, but 
uh, you know, they didn't get it or whatever. I, it is ultimately my responsibility to make sure that these things happen. That's what I do. And I don't think that it's below me as the president and as a, the investment officer and the person who makes sure the payroll gets paid. I have a responsibility. Yes, basically, I work so that everybody else is taken care of. And that's the responsibility that I accept. Yes, and when you have your own business, when you're the manager of a particular department, a lot of your day is spent on making sure everybody else looks good. And that's okay. It's not on pointing out what somebody else didn't do. You want to dream big, you got to take full responsibility for every aspect of your life. Always take responsibility. Surround yourself with people who reassure you, not people who doubt you. Surround yourself with people who are all about you. Not meaning that they got to agree with everything that you say, but if they disagree, they have something that you can build on. Well, I think that we can improve this by doing this. Not that's a stupid idea. That's not someone that's in your corner because you're not stupid. They're just tearing you down. And they can say that, and they're actually they're stupid. But you have to put yourself in a position that you're surrounded by people that reassure you that this could be another approach. Have you thought about this idea? And that's cool. You don't need to have some people like, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. No, that's not going to help either. You know, but surround yourself by people who reassure you and help you build that you can learn from and you can build each other together. You build together. A fifth point is strengthen yourself mentally and physically. I feel that the physically stronger that we are, the more mentally strong we are as well and vice versa. But definitely, if you feel like, Oh, they're stressing out a lot. Do something that's physically strengthening. Do something that's physically active. Do something that's going to build you up so that you feel that I can do that in some aspect and it will help you lean in, take advantage, speak up, and feel stronger and more confident because you're physically stronger. You can't have like influenza or bronchitis and really approach anything with your best confidence. That's because your body is physically weak at that time. So you have to do everything that you can to keep your body physically strong by stay avoiding the bad habits that will pull down your immune system as well. So be prepared to withstand the big hits of your life by keeping yourself mentally and physically strong, organizing your money, organizing your financial statements, setting up automatic savings and investing. So, you know, the small things that you can do to keep yourself strong and keep yourself going and keeping that energy flowing. All of these things are connected. A sixth point is to build a foundation based on the fundamentals. So you can start with a hundred dollars and we can go down the 10 principles of Afroeconomics and that's all you got, but we can still work with this. We can work with that. If you were just saying, I'm gonna make a commitment that I'm going to make sure that I get my financial house in order, I'm gonna protect my family, I'm gonna set up a budget, I'm gonna figure out how much insurance I can get to protect my wife and my children, and you know, uh, you're gonna set up everything for your family because you're gonna get that good, you're gonna build a good, solid foundation your person, your single parent, say you're a single parent, accepting your responsibility that you are the primary and only income earner. What do you have to do? What do you, you know, accepting responsibility that I ultimately am 100% responsible for my household and my children's well-being. Do the fundamentals to make sure that you can take care of the responsibilities as you build your wealth and you build wealth, you're gonna incur more complicated tax situations. So when we have the fundamentals, the groundwork down correctly, as we build on it, you can handle it. 
you can handle it and you have your team and your resources correct. All of the principles of acroeconomics are the framework of the process. So all you have to do is constantly be in repeat mode of making sure that all of the components of that algorithm are included in your financial decisions. A seventh point is to not judge yourself for past mistakes. Because not judging yourself will create clarity and you'll see yourself instead of looking at yourself compared to other people. All we need to do is just look at you. You know that if we were talking and you said, this is my debt, you know, and then I said, well, you know, the average person has a debt, a debt load of, you know, blah, 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 you know, it could be a lot less than yours. What, how does that empower you at all? You know, so you don't need to be compared to anyone else. And I wouldn't do that unless I was like some general, just doing a speaking engagement for a group so that you would have kind of a rule of thumb or being interviewed on television about what the average thing is. But as far as you, we don't need to build, deal in averages. We need to just focus on you. Don't judge yourself, but I'm not going to judge you. And it will create the clarity that you need. Avoid that fear. Avoid the fear. And I've told you about this before, that they say that the biggest fear that people have is the fear of what other people think. We've got to crawl our way out of that. <laughs> I remember when we coming home from stuff in high school and my mother would say, you better be home by 11 o'clock. I don't want those neighbors thinking that you hang out all times of night. <laughs> so it's crazy. Oh, wow. Pastor Bozeman, our deepest fear, this is the Pastor Bozeman said, our friend, our member out of New York, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. You are, this is my poem. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? Your playing small does not serve the world. Tell it, Mr. Bozeman. Oh my God. I hope my daughter can hear me right now because I'm telling you, I have read that to her throughout her little life. Yes, indeed. Don't judge your insides by somebody else's outsides. Oh, yes. Powerful. Oh, daughter, Dr. Williams, the, mm, the kings are on it tonight. Doubt comes from listening to people who have no aspirations or accomplishments and they cast their doubts on you. If you accept their view, it becomes your view. Let them go. <laughs> yes, thank you, Dr. Williams. Yes, let them go. Free yourself. Yes, don't judge yourself. Mm. Avoid the fear of what other people think. Wow, I mean, the members are on tonight. An eight point. Loving the process teaches you to be resourceful. I mean, think back on your life, <laughs> how you got to where you are, how resourceful we've had to be. Think, you think about what you need to do right now to bring everything to the next level. You know, I, I'm making a commitment to myself for Afroeconomics that I want our membership to double by this year next time. Easily we can do that. Easily. The only reason that it hasn't is I'll take full responsibility for that. Full responsibility for that. Our membership should be off, I mean, just should be, I mean, dominating the market. Afroeconomics should be known across the planet. The position that we're in, I mean, just think about it even today, Afroeconomics, we were able to feed people. I'm taking food to a shelter, you know, a, a food, a, 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 a center to feed people tomorrow, you know, and we're able to feed at least 12 people. Big turkey, all this chicken, we got six side dishes, all of that that we're taking, you know, from Afroeconomics. 
That is it. Imagine what we can do. The more we grow, the more we grow, the more we grow, the more we'll be able to do. The more we can do. You know, last year, I did a fraction of that. This year, we did this. Next year, we're going to be feeding at least 50. <laughs> because between this and Christmas, we're going to be over 25 people that we will have fed. So, definitely, loving the process. Love the process. Loving the process teaches us to be resourceful. How did you make it before? How can we make this happen? Think, and we can make our lives work for us. All I have to do is think about what do I need to make sure that I communicate you, to you about how Afroeconomics can help you. And then you'll join. But if, if, if I don't communicate to you completely how it will help you, it won't happen. And you have to approach what you want in life as well. If you want to get a raise at your job, if you want to, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, if you want your spouse to be more loving, whatever, you have to communicate about, you have to take responsibility of what do I have to do in order to generate this behavior from someone else that's going to be to their own benefit. So we can sit there and say, Lord, <laughs> this will help them so much. But that doesn't matter. That does not matter that we know it will help them so much until you can successfully communicate that this will help them and they take advantage of it. You haven't accomplished anything. All you're doing is talking. So my ninth point is to be smart. Don't try to stop what is happening all around you. I was speaking to a group last night, you know, and there were ladies in the room and they were talking about how they have no intention of taking advantage of online bill paying or online access to their account because they were very fearful of what could happen. <laughs> There's no power there. But, but, you know, that's where you are. If that's where you are, that's where you are. You know, but look at what I'm doing. I'm talking to people all over the world right now because of the use of technology, because you're not afraid to log in, because you weren't afraid to register <laughs> so we can communicate. So we have to be smart and stop trying to stop the world, but take advantage of it. Like I used to think, well, if I take my daughter's phone, then maybe, you know, she'll, she'll get better grades, you know, take, just take the phone away. And then I realized that that phone is a major tool. How much you can do with these phones now. So I had to build her understanding of what the phone was so that she could understand that what this is, what this communication tool is, what, what you can use it for. You know, you can use it to pull you down or you can use that to pull yourself up. That's your research tool. That's your information. You can look it up an answer before the, te before the teacher can turn around and look at the blackboard. You can have an answer to the question because you've got that all right there in your hand. So we're supposed to like not use social media because um, you know they're getting in our head? No, we're supposed to build our careers and our businesses utilizing our skill and learning how to use it to our maximization. And Lord knows Knowing, finding out how do I invest in it? What do you think are the best ones, JB? What should I do? You know, look, what, how do I find out more about the Afroeconomics investment portfolios that are totally tech heavy? I'm all about technology. Me and Warren Buffett are different on that. <laughs> you know, I'm about the tech. It could be because, you know, he's old enough to be my father's big brother, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm all about the technology. So I don't, you know, we have to be smart and get into what's going on, not turning our backs on what's going on. And never be afraid to fail. Realizing the power in the process means that we have to be willing to not be good at something so that I can do it until I'm good at it. I mean, I'm not as good at what we're discussing or on this video or, you know, my technology is not as great as what it will be. <laughs> but 
but I am willing to do my best. <laughs> and what to some, it would look like failure. I remember when I first started doing this, and this um, realtor said, hello, hello, um, you know, came to my office and he said, you know, I think that you need a better camera and, and you need a so-and-so and so and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and I said, okay. And he said, oh, and I want you to talk to so-and-so and so and this and that. And they started throwing out all these figures and, you know, this and that. No, I was like, uh-uh. I'm willing to use what I have for as long as I can and maximize my return. And that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. You think that I'm going to pay $1,000 every Wednesday <laughs> because your value of your camera. No, I'll be all right. I will focus on my content while you're worried about the camera presentation. <laughs> Somebody out there mad at my fro because the fro, you know what I mean? The fro is the fro. The fro is the fro. I'm focusing on the content. If you can't hear what I'm saying, but you're distracted because my earrings are shaking, you know, that's the loser mentality. Focus. The power is in the process. Mr. Montgomery said, hey, JB, it's a wonderful feeling to give back. I love listening to you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Montgomery. Uh, Pastor Bozeman said, our smartphones are more powerful than the room-sized computers that sent the man, <laughs> the first man into space. Winston Churchill said success is moving from failure to failure with enthusiasm. Yes, don't be afraid to fail. That's why I put that as my last point. Oh, mm, mm, mm. speak on that, Mr. Bozeman. You did that. I can't wait. One day, you all are going to be coming on, on this screen and sharing that power with me. Get ready. Get ready. Yes, indeed. The men showed out today. We have our Black men of excellence, our men, Afro-economics men. I mean, these men, <laughs> God bless them to be Black, but you all are excellent on extreme level, extreme level. You just, thank God, happen to be strong Black men, but you are strong men by every definition. I thank God for you. I thank God for all of the members. I thank you for those who are quiet tonight. And I thank you for those who are on our 7,000 strong Facebook, Afro-Economics with J.B. Bryan Facebook page. You all make my week. <laughs> you tolerate my videos every morning at like 4 o'clock, 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning in the dark. And y'all already all still give me love. Nothing but the truth. Preach on. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Maurice. You all have a wonderful holiday. And um, the members only is midday on Friday. I'm not going to make y'all have to be that early. It's not going to be now, but midday on Friday and Sunday at sunrise. And don't be surprised if I come back on, uh, <laughs> on Friday live because what? Watch the pocket. The power is in the process. Protect yourself, protect yourself, <laughs> protect your wallet. Don't let this holiday season take us off course of everything that we have accomplished this year. Debt free, be free. And anybody that talks to you about a gift, remind them that 60% of those surveyed said they would spend more family, more time with family and friends if they did not have the pressure of buying gifts. So realize that most people do not want to have to worry about gifts. Save your money. Let's talk soon. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful day. Wonderful night. Good night. Thank you. And God bless you. <laughs>